Kevin Cassidy, Donegal, but Donegal in Boston. <laughs> first things first, great result for you today? Yeah, it's great for, for the club to get into the final. You know, um, it was three weeks post since we played a game, so we've been rusty, but um, on the boys, you know, we've been training hard this last while. And it's just great for the club and for everybody involved here to be in the final you know, next weekend. So, you know, the, the, the juniors won as well, so that's two teams ready in the final, so it's good, it's good, it's good for the club. Donegal's always been strong abroad because of the immigrants, of course. Yeah, without a doubt. Like, you just look around here, the community this year is unbelievable. You know, since well, I was here before six years ago, but you know, even this this time, it's, it's unbelievable. You know that they're they're just great and they look look out for you. And um, I suppose it's a home away from home from everybody. Sorry for me, I'm here for a couple of weeks, but there's guys here working, and you know, it's a real sense of community and that everybody sticks together. It's brilliant. I have to ask you about Donegal next yeah. week against Cork. What do you think of their chances? Well, you know, they have a chance without a doubt. You like, have to give them credit where they got to this year, you know what I mean? Back to back also titles and beating, beating Kerry and back in all Ireland semi final. You know, n nobody's silly. Cork are the favourites for all Ireland, but, you know, we've seen favourites being beaten before. It's going to be a tough ask, but without a doubt, our boys are definitely going to be offered. And, you know, it's, it's easy for me to say this here, but I'd say whoever wants to think Cork Donegal is going to win all Ireland. Do you think Donegal are different this year? You're obviously not there, but are they playing a little bit differently? Are they better than last year? I think that yeah. Obviously, we had to improve from last year, and you know the defence is still the same. We're not conceding any goals, and the boys are working hard for each other. But I think it's just going forward where we carry that wee bit more threat. And when you get into places at like Crow Park and against the likes of teams at Cork, you have to pose a threat, or else you're not going to be you're not going to be there thereabouts. So you know, Jim's added that this year, and they have it down to a tee, and you know they're coming they're coming fresh. You know, so it'll be it'll be interesting next weekend. Do you think their style of play will work well against a big, strong Cork team who have strength and depth? That's the question. You know, I suppose Donegal's Jim McGuinness' is probably style is probably modelled a wee bit on Cork, if you know what I mean. You know, the, the, the big physical men and they're able to run, the athletic as well. So two teams are kind of similar. It's just, um, you know, who's going to turn up in the day? And, you know, without a doubt, we have some class forwards, but they have some class forwards as well. So it's just really going to come down to who can score more in the day. It's good to see you back in a Donegal jersey, but that brings me to how do you feel about being over here in Boston for the summer? Playing football out here, but Donegal going so well at home? Yeah, without a doubt. You know, it's a question I've probably asked a lot this summer, but it's something that I had to straighten my head before I went. You know, I, um, I, I, I knew they were going to win an Ulster, you know, so I, I knew I was leaving that behind me. And like, I kind of had to put the, put the question to myself if they went the whole way, you know, would I, would I be comfortable with it? But, you know, a decision I had to make for my family. And, you know, we're out here and we've had a great summer. And, you know, I have no regrets. And I hope to see Donegal in the final. I'll be back for the final, hopefully, you know. And how will you feel if they win the Sam Maguire? Yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's the same as it's saying before. People say, oh, you know, you give, them, you give them the answer and they still look at you as if to say, is that really the right answer? Honestly, you know, when, when I make a decision, I stick by it. And I'm a great believer in what's for you. It won't go past you. And if Donegal won't go on to one All-Ireland, Fair play to them. They're going to do it the hard way, and you have to give them credit for it. You know, my days, my playing days are over now. And like, like you know, there's plenty of other good players in Donegal that came through and never won anything the same as myself. So, you know, we have to pass it on to the generations there now. And you know, all the best to them. And do you think back now? You've got a bit of time to think this year. Do you regret the book? No, I don't. You know, as things happen, you know, I, I made a decision to help Declan out with the book. I did it. You know, there's, there's bigger things in life than football than the day. You know, whether they're going to go one one or Ireland or ten or Ireland, you know, they're still they're still working Monday morning. They're still family Monday morning, and that's the most important thing. And what about the North Americans? You, well, they went Boston first, and then maybe the North Americans. So you have your own All Ireland to win here, if you like. Ah, yeah, without a doubt. You know, I'm I'm very grateful to this club. They've been good to me. I've been here twice. You know, and. You know, even there today, I was glad to get them into the final, and you know, um, it'll be brilliant for me, for me to be able to help them win this year. And I know they'll let Desi Dolan and the rest of the lads are the same. You know, we go back to our own clubs now after the summer is over, but you know, we see what it means to these guys out here, and if I can help them, then, then I'll be delighted to do so.